They're the iconic images of an administration under siege. The Attorney General taking withering fire for sacking federal prosecutors. The White House political chief being probed for partisan briefings at federal agencies. And a newly assertive Congress preparing a blizzard of subpoenas. For President Bush, the waning days of a second term have been a season of scandal. I suppose no one has uh, in modern times has been in the difficulty that uh, George Bush is. Uh, people were amazed at what he was able to accomplish in his first year with so little electoral mandate or popular support, um, but some of those victories have come back to haunt him. Little has been more haunting than the agony of Iraq. Seldom has military triumph turned more quickly to carnage and division. But Bush's woes go well beyond Iraq and include a legal litany of tainted aides, from Vice President Cheney's one-time chief of staff in the CIA leak case to others ensnared in a Washington lobbying scandal, and even one who admitted stealing from a department store. Now, the president's critics see a common thread here, the natural consequence of placing Bush loyalists in key posts. They say he's turned the White House into a GOP field office with a ruthlessness not seen since Watergate. Americans now know that we are witnessing much more than just incompetent individuals at work. In my view, we are watching corruption in action. The White House calls that nonsense, just typical Democratic paranoia. To try to cloak it in a grand conspiracy that was just reminiscent of the vast right-wing conspiracy of the 1990s, and I think the American people have moved past that. For many historians and analysts, setback is merely a predictable feature of a president's second term. Second terms are tough. Uh, Re-elected presidents uh, always imagine uh, they're stronger, uh, they're more influential, when in reality uh, uh, the clock is ticking on them. Meantime, for Bush, there's no let up in sight. A Congress now run by his opponents wants to make up for years of lax oversight. And with subpoenas at the ready, Democrats see plenty to investigate. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.